Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our Gospel Reflection for this Thursday in the fifth week of our Lenten season. We begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Gospel today is from the Gospel of John, chapter 8, verses 51 to 59. Jesus said to the Jews, I tell you most solemnly, whoever keeps my word will never see death. The Jews said, Now we know for certain that you are possessed. Abraham is dead, and the prophets are dead. And yet you say, Whoever keeps my word will never know the taste of death. Are you greater than our father Abraham, who is dead? The prophets are dead too. Who are you claiming to be? Jesus answered, If I were to seek my own glory, that would be no glory at all. My glory is conferred by the Father, by the one of whom you say, He is our God, although you do not know Him. But I know Him, and if I were to say, I do not know Him, I should be a liar, as you are liars yourselves. But I do know Him, and I faithfully keep his word. Your father Abraham rejoiced to think that he would see my day. He saw it and was glad. The Jews then said, You are not fifty yet, and you have seen Abraham. Jesus replied, I tell you most solemnly, before Abraham ever was, I am. At this they picked up stones to throw at him, but Jesus hid himself and left the temple. The Gospel of the Lord. This Gospel passage brings to a climax the account of the confrontation of Jesus with the Jews in the temple at the Festival of Tabernacles. And this gospel tells us of the glory which the Father confers on Jesus. This glory is awesome and inspiring, and it is something that rightly belongs only to the divine. When Moses, despairing at the failure of the Israelites immediately after the conclusion of the covenant on Sinai, asks to see the God's glory, he is permitted to see God's glory only from behind, for no one can see God and live. Again, Isaiah, in his vision, in the temple, is bowled over by the sight of God's glory. And again, Ezekiel is bowled over by seeing something that looked like the glory of the Lord. So glory properly belongs to God alone. It is an awesome and inspiring experience. In the beginning of John's Gospel, the phrase, we saw his glory, expresses the summit of revelation at the Incarnation. By his first sign at Cana, Jesus made his glory known. But the fullness of his glory is to be shown only by the hour of his passion and resurrection the two being seen as one single moment. 
Now, Father, it is time for you for you to glorify me with that glory I had with you before the world was. So the revelation of God's glory in Jesus is another way of expressing the divinity of Christ. And so with this in mind, Jesus, at the end of this gospel, adopts his own divine name. I am. Today's gospel challenge, I think, is just to reflect on the glory that has been conferred on Jesus by the Father and to reflect on that name, I am. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Thank you for joining me for our gospel reflection today. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Till then, take care and God bless. 